So this is the Apprentice One to One Academy. You'll see behind me here, we've got one of the booths all set up now. This is the renewable bay. So this is gonna be set up with battery storage, solar panels. Um, we're looking to maybe get a heat pump in as well and see the electrical connection set up off that. Electric vehicle charge point. We've got another selection of bays here too, which we're setting up for instrumentation, industrial, commercial, domestic, and hopefully also gonna get a solar PV array across the top. But this is just the beginning. Who knows where it'll take us. As I've said with Apprentice One to One, since it started, it kind of takes its own journey. We've had the tool giveaways, we've done the job link ups. These things seem to naturally just progress and this has just kind of run its own course already. The idea is it's here to support training. So people who are on retraining routes and apprenticeships, we want to offer a bit of something to help you on your learning journeys for those people who run into difficulties through the course of training to step in and help support them. We've got a network of training providers around the UK who are going to help us with that and I'm going to speak more about that in the coming weeks. We've also got the support of the CPSs as well and again more on that soon and we do have a selection of sponsors who are helping fund this so we can offer it totally free to people making use of it. So we're not here to sell regulation training courses, online courses, 2391, 2396, all the additional short course training around industry. We're not competing with existing trainers. We are here to support other training providers. We're helping kit out their own facilities with things such as this. And we're also helping support their learners with some extra training that they might not see on the normal learning routes that will also support them in their future career development. And hopefully offer a bit of something to support and encourage employers on their route to taking on their first and subsequent apprentices. But I thought we'd have a tour of the facility first and foremost. I've spoken about this on my own social media, on the Apprentice One to One Instagram, and also my YouTube channel, Mike the Sparky Allison. And there is some content on there already where I've had a go at sharing some of my knowledge and experience forming containment, so bending steel conduit and trunking working with prefabricated bends and fitting some of this stuff into these booths as well. So if you want to go and check that out, please head over there and do so. In the meantime, let's have a zoom around and see what we've been up to, and we'll take it from there, catch up with you in just a minute. Okay, so you can see this is the training booths laid out over at this side. So you can see we've got a few um, different setups. This booth here is currently empty because Eddie Clemens is going to come down hopefully in the not too distant future and set us up some panel building. So we're going to have some BMS controls, boiler wiring, bits and pieces that's allocated for that. We're just waiting on sorting out some dates. This is the domestic test board that you will have seen from the last um, Apprentice one to one setup we had, which was much smaller scale. But still, it's very useful. It's been put through its paces. We know that works. So we've brought that into this bay as well. We've also got some of the older switch gear that's been sent in. So we're popping that up to give people a bit of experience and knowledge around that. And that's all gonna be added to, adjusted and fiddled around with. It's just up there for the minute to keep it out of harm's way. Um, and yeah, that's an important aspect of what Apprentice One to One wants to do with this academy. It's not just looking at the latest and greatest modern gear. We also want to show some of the older stuff that's out there and how you will maintain and work on that safely. This is the main booth I've been working on and putting together and Matthew's had another little go at that today. So he's got the metering kit in there wired up and he's also popped in the singles for this socket down there. Um, I did this one the other day on the single phase board. We've also got the oscilloscope in there and that's going to tie in with both the stuff that's in this bay. So we're going to have some EC and I stuff going on in here as well with relays, contactors, other bits of programmable stuff and PLCs. We're looking at some of the Schneider tags and having a play around on the scope is something I'm looking forward to doing. But equally, that's going to tie in with the bay Eddie's going to set up for us, hopefully. And we've got this one here, which you would have seen behind me earlier on in this video. This is the the Proteus board, so this is the specific EV board that we've also got power in this whole building over in that corner, just behind the office space there. But this is where we're going to bring our three-phase feed down into the whole booth area. We've got our big main isolating switch that will kill off everything, so we know if we lock that off, there's no possibility of anyone having access to any electrical systems or equipment down at this end, and then we're going to subdivide it from here to then come across and feed into some of this. Now, obviously that's not how we'd set it up in a real world environment, but we wanted a bit of extra control in what we're doing and it seemed like a sensible way to approach it. So that's what we're doing. We've also got a feed out here ready to go into an EV charge point. We've got another single phase isolator here, so we can pop that into 
um, the battery storage system because I didn't want to leave that permanently connected because the idea is we're going to play around with setting this up and taking it out multiple times. It might end up not being used, but I thought for the minute it made sense to me. And that wires back into this board there. So that's the training booths. And again, we've got these kitted out. So we've got the TIS test instruments that you'll see there with a proving unit, a little um, clamp meter, multimeter, safe isolation kit. We've got all the probes set up in there, little bits of consumables in these tubs. Full set of hand tools in there, ready to go with the gloves and um, set square, spirit level, all the basics you're gonna need. We've got a little pop-up table there that we can drag out and do stuff with. Conduit bender and some singles in the old cable roller at the minute. That can be adjusted for whatever we're doing. Sight light there, which is just helping me out for the minute. So like I said, there's no power here at the minute. This booth, again, we've got some tubs up here ready for storing equipment. We've got a set of hand tools waiting to drop in there alongside some of the stuff that's here already. We've got these shelves that have been housing some of the tools and equipment we've been using to build this place up, but it is gonna hold the stock and consumables as well for working in and around all of this. And at the minute, the plan is to put a TV in the end there or some sort of smart board so we can work from that and demonstrate things from other content creators that's out there or training materials or whatever. Everyone can watch that and take it in while they're working in the booths. And then across the top, as I mentioned on my Mark the Sparky channel. For those of you who watch over there, we're gonna put a solar array, which is gonna tie in with the boost down there. And Dan from DMH is hopefully gonna help me do that. The idea of all this is it's a collaboration amongst others to try and share some of what we know to join in what you will be learning at college and with your employers. And if you end up stuck and out of either of those environments where we can step in and help you continue your learning. And again here, we've got the OSB down this side, a couple of other bays to go in once we get to that stage, but we need to get these finished off in the first place, but it is ready to go. We've got a whole wall open there if anyone wanted to go and start popping a bigger install on. I might keep this all as one larger booth. I'm undecided at present where we could put a bigger system in, but the potential's there for two or one. We've got a small little kitchen area here, which I've recently plumbed in and powered in. So we've got hot water tap, electrical socket for the kettle, bit of storage for the pots and pans. It's not a great setup, I appreciate, but for the time being, it sees us through. A little bit of a chair just to sit down. You can see old Ted's there. This is the toilet where I'm currently painting the door up. So that's ready to go and just tidying up and finishing off. We've got a little um, meeting area and storage space in this door. And then the main office area around through this door, which is where I'm currently using as a office slash recording space. And again, just a little shelf and a few chairs and bits and pieces. I'm gonna record a podcast very shortly for the Apprentice One to One channel with um, Richard and Craig. Main intake is over down in this corner. And again, there you'll see the Proteus board over there as well. We've got the roller doors and um, that's kind of where we are in this side of the unit for the time being. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that look around. It is just a brief tour. We are still not fully finished, but we're well on our way now. I think we started back in October time from the top of my head, but we've probably spent 10 to 14 days doing it over lots of other varying projects. Like I say, it's been a bit of piecework when we've had a quiet spot or we've come in our own time to do this. Um, but yeah, we are where we are now and I'm excited to start working with people in these booths and hopefully offer some support to the training industry as well, where we can put our unique take on things, backing up some of what you might learn out in a typical syllabus, and also producing content that's gonna look at some of the more traditional ways that we would do electrical wiring and containment, such as making your own um, bends in trunking and conduit, and also some of the more modern methods and techniques and materials that are out there for us to use, and taking the views of practicing electricians for how they get around snags and things out on site, because you won't find that in textbooks and if you're not with an employee you're not going to get that experience either so we want to share a bit of that in these booths and i have also had approaches and discussions with people through throughout social media who are maybe going to come along and do some demonstrations themselves dan from dmh and the solar thing we mentioned behind us jamie's donating a tv adrian hackwood's going to come and help drink some beer hopefully mike from residual current is going to come down he did mention a while ago that he was well up for coming to help us so fingers crossed he's going to jump down because you know, who better to give his take on training, someone who is very much at the top of his game. So hopefully we can get Mike down as well. And we also have the wiring rigs qualification that we're gonna be running alongside Richard from Humber Electrical Training. He is coming forward to help us deliver some free 
City and Guilds accredited wiring regs courses for people who've been on retraining routes and maybe entered in some real difficulties, so they've missed certain parts of the training, and one of those parts been the wiring regs. We're going to provide that for people to come and get that finished off totally free of charge, in class and in person with Richard himself over in Hull. And if you're on an apprenticeship as well and you've had some issues finishing off bits and pieces around your training that includes the wiring regs, do get in touch. We're going to look to run that every other month, every quarter. It depends on demand. And the idea is just to support people a little bit who've had a bad experience from training where they've maybe been taken advantage of by some of the rogue trainers and just to offer a bit of something back to help you out a bit. Um, and really kind of Richard to do that from Humber Training. So if you are currently looking for a wiring regs course as a practicing electrician, do hit Richard up. He's a top guy and he runs a great training school himself over in Hull. So I hope you've enjoyed your brief look around Apprentice One to One HQ. I've really enjoyed doing this. It's been a lot of fun, I've got to be honest. It's brought me back to some of my college days and yeah, this is exciting. I'm really excited for what we can do in here. I think it's gonna be helpful and positive coming back into industry with some of the things we're gonna bring forward. Time will tell if that plays out to be true or not. You know, I'm not the judge of these things, other people will judge us. And a massive thanks to all of the sponsors and supporters who were getting behind us, from manufacturers to industry bodies. And I really do mean this, without your support, it wouldn't happen. And it's very encouraging to see that you believe in what we're doing as well and want to help us in the goals and objectives that we have. And hopefully we can come through and deliver. Time will tell on that too. If you've got any suggestions or any ideas for content that we could make in and around all of this, please do reach out. If you want to be involved, it is never too late. The door to Apprentice One to One is always open to absolutely anybody. This isn't an exclusive club. It really is here to help give back to industry. So if you want to come and get involved, please do reach out. The podcast content will come back as normal onto this channel. Thank you all for bearing with me and I will see you all again soon.